Hello, this is Bobby in Compound TV Repair with a video today of a fairly recent model as of the time of making this video uh, of LG 55LF 60,000 as you can see manufactured September 2015 it was brought by a customer and the issue with it was sorry for the autofocus but it's like I'm that phone. Uh, the issue with it was the red LED was coming up here and uh, it wasn't responding to anything. So there was power uh, but um, it wasn't turning on. Now the fact that there was power and there was a light indication suggested that there was a standby voltage here and uh, the first thing that we do is you can see there aren't many boards in the TV and that's general trend power supply, main board, t -cone, LEDs on the back. Um, this is the original power board, and as you can see, there is one EEPROM on it, uh, then there is another EEPROM on it. This is something that commonly fails and is normally a first consideration. But upon closer inspection, we also saw that spot here on the main processor, which looked like burnt, and that's why I'm showing it to you. And uh, we looked on the back, and there also is a slight brown discoloration. I don't know if you can see in the lower right, in the top right corner, uh, currently in the middle of the screen. It looks like it did bust something inside. And uh, that was our first clue as to where to look for a problem, power board versus main board. The second one came while inspecting you know, anytime a, a, a power uh, a main board is being inspected for problems, it always starts with the uh, internal voltage regulators. And voltage regulators are usually, they, they take the input voltage of 5 or 12 or whatever is standard input voltage from the power supply, and then convert it for the low voltages needed by the modern ICs, which operate on 3.3, 2.5, 1.8, or 1.2 volts. Uh, any number of those can use those small, the, the memory ICs use those, the processor uses those. Uh, they're designed so that they use less power because of the uh, technology which uh, makes the components smaller, takes more and takes less space, use less current, needs less voltage. And the simple voltage regulators on any main board, they can be found in a number of different ways. One good way is looking for those uh, coils which, in, which are always or almost always uh, located next to a sub voltage voltage sub regulator. So there's one here, another here, another here. Uh, they work in combination with capacitors and are usually driven by small ICs like this one. And now I don't know whether that one is a driver uh, or that one here. So one simple way of testing for a problem on a board is to look for uh, resistance at the output of, of such regulators. Just just something that is unusually low. You know, a shortage like that there, that is almost bound to produce shortage. And one way to go about it is you just get ground. Let me see if I can get it here. You just get ground from anywhere, any metal part of the board. It's easier when the board is actually uh, screwed down to the chassis. But long story short, like this is a good point. Let me see, do I have ground? Yes, I have ground. So uh, we start testing, let's say here. Usually one end of those capacitors will be grounded. You test the other. Uh, 475, that's reasonably high. Before moving in, let's see that one here, ground on one side, the other one 187. That is also high if you consider we're talking about voltage, uh, voltages like two, two to five volts, 187 ohms is pretty high. And then, you know, going around, we ended up going to those where we have six on one end and ground on the other. Now, almost regardless of what, what voltage output we'll have here, six ohms, is way too low and if you check that on a actual board you will find out 
Then on one side it actually has 457 and on the other side normally it is grounded. So this is another confirmation that this was the, the bad board and uh, considering it was busted it looks like it was busted under the main IC this will probably happen to other people maybe result of overheating, maybe result of a, a bad connection there uh, solder degrading or anything possibly repairable by replacing the IC, possibly not repairable if it damaged the PCB underneath uh, if it busted to a point where it could show on top, chances are on the bottom it's actually busted PSC. Luckily at this moment those boards are cheap, uh, you can buy them online from a TV with cracked screens and uh, this is how the repair of that TV completed, uh, replacing the main board made the TV come up right away, the problem was in the power and hope that helps somebody in their investigation and TV repair. Thank you and have a good luck.